Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna look at SQLite. How does the commit work? How often should it be called? All those will be answered in this video. The goal of this video, before we end it, is you will know how the connection commit works. You will know how often it needs to be called, where you call it, you know, all those questions that you may have about it. This video will teach you that. Now there are two things I need to teach you. Ready? The first one is this database is multi-user. That means many people can use the same database. An app can use it. Two apps can use it. And then based on your commit, how often you commit is how often these other people get to see the data. I'm going to prove that. You're going to learn that. That's what we'll do. So let us begin this app and let's get to line 42. Let's do this. Notice that my database has been created. It's empty right now. I don't have any records on it. In the window behind it, you can see how I'm ready to load up my first record, but that's not going to change anything But it, because it hasn't been committed. But it will save it out to this file. As I loop over this loop, it will continue writing things in here. Unfortunately, we have other apps that are looking at that. Let's take a little look-see. Notice I have another app, DB Browser for SQLite. I'm in there and I see that table. I see its index. When I go look at the browse data and execute SQL, notice I, only, I don't see any rows, there's zero. And when I execute this one statement, let's do that, F10. So notice as soon as I save a record, I don't get to see that value come through there. In fact, the way this sample is gonna work is after my last row ID is five, I'm gonna do an, a commit. And then this program will get to see this. Oh, guess what we just have? We have another program that wants to use that database. So now I'm in there and I say, select count from Florida, and I hit enter. Notice it's also telling me that there are zero rows. So when we understand multi-user, you see that I now have two different apps using that one database file. I'm going to hit the continue button five times until last row equals five until it steps in here and then we'll see these other programs and see how they behave. So before I step into this commit let's check that one more time. Notice my count is zero. Let's check that second app. Let's do an up arrow and see what it also returned me zero here and now let's return to the program and let's step into this commit. So I come in here and I say F10, commit, and now let's go check our other apps. Notice DB Tools is now telling me, hey, there are five records in there. Oh, okay, thank you. Let's see what SQLite 3 command line will tell me. Notice it tells me that there are also five. So both of these apps, after I did that commit, are now notified that there are five records available. And in both of these, I can actually go see the data. I can say select star from Florida, and notice I get to see the data. And we can do that same SQL statement in this guy. Let's execute that. And notice I see those same five rows. Notice my last record I processed was record 37. When I execute this, this will increment to 38. Line 46, if cur.last row ID is 38, I'm gonna try to do a commit. Let's uh, go check our other apps and see how they're behaving. Ready, highlight. Notice he, he's still at five. He's still at five. So now when I do this, let's see what happens, ready? F10, my row ID now is 38. Now watch this, ready for the commit? Commit, now what does this one say? Oh, he's at 38 now. And notice this one is also at 38. So do you see how that works? Only when you ex execute the commit command can other apps see the progress. And that is how that works. And there you have the SQLite 3 commit command. You now know how it works. You know, if you want to notify other users about what you're working on, then commit more often. If you want to like save your work and you know, like just do it at the very end, you can do it then as well. So you know how to use it. You know about multi-users. You know the commit command. There's no other secrets about that. I appreciate you coming here, supporting my channel. If you can, subscribe, like, and leave a comment. I appreciate it. And we'll see you back in my next video.